The word of God says in Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 and 15, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. First and foremost, it's imperative to make note of the fact that the term Father is used a total of eight times from verses 1 to 15 in Matthew chapter 6. Look at verse 1. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Why? Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Verse 4 says, That thine alms may be in secret, and thy Father, notice that, which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Verse 6, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee, what? Openly. Verse number eight says, Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. Look at verse nine. After this manner therefore pray ye, Our father. Think about that. Our father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And of course, verses 15 and 16 use the term father as well, signifying what? That this passage is specifically detailing God's dealing with who? Believers, those that have been saved, those that have been forgiven. The unsaved and unforgiven cannot claim God as their father. Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 says, for ye are all the children of God, watch this, by faith in Christ Jesus. Of course, John chapter 1 verse 12 says, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become what? The sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. With that in mind, the overall teaching of this passage is this. God's dealing with us is directly related to our dealing with others. I'll say that again to be clear. God's dealing with us as our father is directly related to our dealing with others, meaning if I, as a believer, as a child of God, as someone who has been forgiven of all trespasses, if I am impatient towards others, if I am unmerciful towards others, unforgiving towards others, cruel and ungracious towards others, can I expect my heavenly father to be gracious towards me, long-suffering towards me, merciful towards me when I screw up? Of course not. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6 says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So again, God's dealing with you as your heavenly father is directly related to your dealing with others. If you stubbornly persist in unforgiveness, don't expect God to be gracious towards you, long-suffering towards you when it comes to his chastening and correction. Your heavenly father will humble you in hopes that you come to this realization. God's forgiven me. God's been so gracious towards me, so merciful towards me. I need to reciprocate that to others. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents. But forasmuch as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, 
I forgave thee all that debt because thou desiredst me. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. To be clear, Matthew chapter 6 is not speaking to the unbeliever. It's not teaching that the forgiveness of your sins specific to salvation is dependent upon what? Your forgiveness of others. Rather, it's compelling those that have been forgiven, those that have been saved, the child of God. It's compelling the child of God to reciprocate that forgiveness towards who? Others in like manner. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 says this, And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, watch this, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Now, how do we receive the forgiveness of sins in the context of salvation? Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. The Bible says in Acts chapter 13, verses 38 and 39, Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you, watch this, the forgiveness of sins. Don't miss that. And by him, all that what? Are baptized in water? All that do good unto others? All that do good works? All that attend church? No, all that believe, faith alone on Christ alone, are justified from what? Some things? Most things? No, all things from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven when you die, I encourage you to watch the video in the description below, how to know you are saved, the only way to heaven, and be saved today. God bless.